so difficult for you guys to get to the line tonight? Um, I don't know. Um, it, it's been a repeating issue. Um, you know, that overall discrepancy, we, you know, on the flip side, we, we've got to do a better job of um, defending without fouling, you know, showing our hands, being in the right spots, moving our feet, keep bodies in front. Uh, just really kind of uh, hurts because you know, not only are you giving up free points, but you're allowing them to set their defense. And, you know, you, you lose some of your momentum. But uh, it's been an issue the last few games, uh, that, that overall discrepancy, but also, um, you know, our foul rate. I mean, and that's something we can control to a certain extent, but we, we got to clean that up because it's just too, it's too many free throws. When it comes to your own free throw attempts, um, is there anyone you think that could kind of force the issue, be more aggressive and, and step up in that regard? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think everybody can, but you know, it, it, you look at it, we had 37 assists, so the ball is moving. So we're generating good offense. Um, it doesn't always have to be, you know, a downhill, you're playing through bodies and traffic. I think at times you can get in trouble, but certainly, you know, early in the clock, you get a defensive rebound and push, uh, by all means, you should be thinking paint first and then three. What made uh, DeAndre Hunter tough for you guys tonight? He got going early, and he just put his head down, and he got biased, got to the paint, got to the rim, uh, and got to the line. So um, I think that, you know, he got a little rhythm, started shooting into a big basket. You know, he got 17 in the first half. Um, and it was a big, he was a big spark plug for them. For them. Um, Overall, I thought we did a decent job on Trey outside of the, of the uh, you know, the fouls. But, you know, hold a guy like that for, you know, six to, for 22, um, you know, had him taking tough, tough, tough shots. And, you know, we all know he's going to make some of those. But um, just overall, you know, McGonavich had a little stretch. Hunter obviously had a little stretch. And their bigs, you know, when they, they killed us on the glass. That's been a, uh, an issue as well. Can you speak to how Kyle got others involved tonight? He had the 11 assists, but elaborate a little bit more because you had the 37 assists on 46 made baskets. Well, that's been the way we've, we've been playing as of late. You know, it's, you know we have limited shot creation, um, and that's just a byproduct of who we have. It's not, it's not a negative. So we're finding different ways to generate ball movement um, by moving, cutting, um, and it, it's been good for us. So I think that mindset of, you know, the ball finds the open man, keep energy in it. Um, and, you know, guys are stepping up and making shots. So, that, you know, that's part of the assist part. You can create it, but if you don't knock them down, they don't count. So um, it's, it's a good sign for us offensively. Um, but we just have to continue that, that mindset of, of keep moving the ball, you know, shifting the defense. And then hopefully you, you crack that seam and it allows, you know, good things to happen. Can you also speak to the last play? Kyle had a, had a good look at it, just didn't go down. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't executed perfectly. They took the initial uh, pass away. Uh, and with three seconds, you know, you have to make something happen. So he read it, he found the opening and, you know, we threw it right back to him. And decent look, you know, it's, it, it's tough without a timeout. That's probably the, one of the better looks you're going to get. But at that point, it's a Hail Mary and, you know, we didn't go down. Wes, your, your team held them to 42% shooting, which is superb and yet only generated four turnovers. Uh, was, was, although the defense did some good things, were they into the ball enough? Were they pressuring enough? Early on, I would say no. I mean, uh, that was evident. They had 68 points in the first half. They played with a level of comfort. Um, you know, I thought we ramped it up a bit in the second half um, and got that overall number down. But, you know, once again, if you're aggressive, you have to be, you know, physical with the proper technique. Otherwise, it, you know, it, it turns into fouls and we see how that works out. Um, but that's not always going to turn into turnovers. You know, I think you have to pick your spots with the amount of three-point shooting you have on the floor. You can't live in rotations against this group all night. Um, you take one thing away, obviously something else opens. And you know, to hold one of the best three-point shooting teams to 13 made threes doesn't sound like an accomplishment, but you know they can they can add up quickly. So I think just the mix of that, you know, um, that aggression, but once again being smart with you know our hands and being being mindful of how much contact we're delivering. What can you say? Oh, Rui stayed out there for the entire fourth quarter, but do you see his uh, comfort level increasing out there? Oh, yeah, to a certain extent. You know, and the one area, and it's not his fault, is, you know, mixing him and Kyle as a five, offensively. Defensively, no problem. We're switching. Those guys have done a terrific job of keeping, you know, 
guys in front for the most part, making them grind for tough twos. Um, but, you know, offensively, he's not in that spot a lot. So gives us just a small window, a small package of offense that we can run. You know, we've got to expand that a bit if we're going to continue to use those lineups, you know, whether it's in the meat of the game or, or close, you know, situations, you know, in the fourth. Uh, we like the switch, you know, that, that he can bring, but uh, offensively, you know, give him something else that we can go to. What can you say about the consistency of Contavious Caldwell Pope in a year where you guys have had ups and downs and lots of changes in the rotation? Well, I mean, it's, it speaks to who he is as a pro. Um, he's uh, he, he's played in big big moments. Um, you know, he's made big shots for us all season. But uh, you know, that level of consistency is something that we all want to get up to speed with. You know, it'd be nice to have everyone play at that level of consistency. But uh, he works at it. You know, and so it's no surprise. He puts in extra time, he, you know, the, the shooting before and after practice. So it's it's not really a surprise that, you know, he's, he's earned the right to step up and make big plays in, in clutch situations. Um, on KCP, just because he's he does so much on both ends of the floor, he's uh, handling Trey so much tonight, but are there ways that you guys can say, here's how we're going to try to help you so you don't get overloaded on both ends or just because the way the loss, the roster is configured, you kind of just have to say like, man, sorry, Casey. No, no. I mean, it's, he knows he's embraced that role as, as our, as one of our primary defenders, but it's still got to be a collective effort. It's, it's unfair to say one person has got to guard a guy like Trey Young. It's just, it's unfair. So we have to do a better job of, uh, you know, being in the strength spots and showing crowds and, you know, going to hit him and get the ball out of his hands at times. Um, Mixing it, mixing up those coverages, so it's not a steady diet of just one on one. But I give him credit; he embraces that role. Uh, he does it well, you know, uh, most nights, and that just speaks once again to who he is and you know his makeup. He values that side of the ball. You know, it's easy to make shots, but he knows and understands the value of a guy who can guard um, and the impact that can have on winning. What do you think made the difference for them tonight? Um, I mean, I think the biggest thing is we have to we have to learn how to stop, you know, fouling. Uh, thirty four free throws. I mean, that's the game. You're giving them, you know, a chance at a three a free thirty four points. So, um, you know, a lot of times it's really just like technique and and you know reaching in or, you know, not fouling at the right time to keep it on the ground. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just the biggest thing. Um, you know, anytime you give a, a, a team three points and then um, you don't rebound as well offensively, um, that's the game. So, your guys' own free throw attempts, I think, were a problem the other night against Cleveland. And, you know, your top three guys averaging free throws this year are, are either hurt or gone, like Beal, Spence, and, and Trez. Um, when the personnel changes, do, do you guys feel like a responsibility to be more aggressive and try to get more free throw attempts or like how, how do you kind of compensate for that? I mean, shit, it's tough to get free throw attempts. You know, you look at, you know, I, I had four. Slim, it was really slim pickings, eight for nine, nine free throws. Don't even make sense. I mean, it's a story every single night. <clears throat> Not trying to, you know, make excuses, but, you know, people around the league, they don't, the referees, they don't respect us. Um, I mean, point blank, and then you see the referees that we get. Just kind of how it goes, you know. But for us, we have to we have to do a better job of obviously talking to them, and then um, you know, just trying to play harder through contact. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Run somebody over. I don't know. I don't know what we got to do to get get to the line though. It's crazy. Clues, you guys obviously cut it close at the end there. What did you think overall of kind of the effort tonight? I mean, I, I thought the effort was fine for the most part. It just, we just had brain farts. Um, like I said, you know, fouling guys and then offensive rebounds. Um, a lot of times, you know, even for me, I had probably two, possess two three possessions just running under the rim. And we're like, I can't do that. We can't do that as a team, you know. Um, it just... Um, just handicaps us, you know, just those little mental mistakes, you know, especially, you know, they piled up. And then if you have a couple in the fourth or, you know, you have a couple in the third and it allows that team to, get, you know, have a, a eight to 10 old run. I mean, you know, we're shooting ourselves in the foot every night. So just something that we got to continue to grow with, you know. Has uh, 
as disappointing as the loss was and elements of it were. Uh, how pleased are you with the ball movement and the team's overall unselfishness? I, I, I can't say enough since the trade deadline how this team has played offensively. You know, we've done a great job uh, of just playing with one another. Um, everybody's doing a great job. Nobody's trying to turn the ball over. I mean, obviously mistakes happen, but, um, <clears throat> you know, everyone's trying to make the right play. If somebody's open, they're hitting it. If not, you know, everyone's aggressive. And, um, you know, that's not our issue. You know, some, some nights we may not score that much, but um, it's just the little things that we're just giving point uh, points to teams for free, essentially. It, ball movement wasn't a problem before the deadline, but what's – change since the deadline to ramp it up to the degree it has? Well, ball movement was a problem um, prior to the deadline, um, you know, clearly. But at the same time, um, the biggest thing is just guys really liking each other um, and, and trying their best to um, make a play for someone else. And, I mean, that's just the biggest thing. Um, can't complain about it at all. You know, I think we've done a great job. Everyone's trying to do the right thing. And, uh, share the sugar. So, um, offensively, you know, it's not bad at all. So, sort of take us through th that last play, Kyle, if you would, and, and what you saw. They had a good look at uh, at that last shot. Um, the half court shot. Yeah, I mean that was the only shot we had. You know, we just hit the top of the rim. And then you did? Did you look? more for guys tonight you had the 22 points but you also had the 11 assists you spoke to it i mean you guys also had the 37 assists on the 46 made for uh field goals um yeah i mean um i was just trying to just do what the you know kind of defense allowed me to do um you know every team come in you know they're circled on me and they understand how i've been playing and um you know, I'm always trying to be aggressive to find my own shot. But, you know, when the right play is there, when my teammates is open, I got to throw in the ball. You know, that's my obligation as someone that's handling the ball. Um, and everyone trusts me to make those decisions. So, um, you know, just trying to make the right basketball play every time. How different, Kyle, is the attention defenses? Are, key, are they keying on you much more than they were, say, three, four weeks ago? <clears throat> Um, I mean, yeah, for sure, because, you know, I, I've been playing at a certain type of level for, you know, three months. So, um, you know, getting the number one defender every night and then, you know, t whether team's doubling or blitzing or doing whatnot. And I don't mind it. You know, it's, I actually love it because I, I have a teammate that's going to be open every time we're going to play five on four. Um, so um, I think that's also a, a big part of, you know, when you talk about our ball movement, how we're getting easy shots is because for me having a lot of tension. Um, I'm just trying to find guys and make it easy for everybody else. And just so our offense isn't hard. So. All right. Last question. Anil. Yeah. Hey, Maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into it, but were you stretching out your back when you just sat down? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I was stretching my back. Yeah. I guess everything okay there, just kind of general soreness. Yeah, I'm all right. You know, we're about almost 70 games in, so it's how it is sometimes, March, you know. And when you talk about like just reaching in, kind of not playing the right kind of defense, is that just kind of indicative of a lot of young players in the rotation? Um, I, yeah, I do think it's a, um, to a certain extent, you know, because, um, you know, everyone's made great improvements, you know, but at the same time, uh, it's just all about understanding how the game is being officiated and what refs are looking at. Um, if you have your hands on somebody, they're going to call it. If somebody's driving and uh, you don't get off the ground when they're on the ground, I mean, it's going to be a block and foul. So it's just those little things that we have to understand and we have to just dial into because, you know, like I said, Trey Young was six for 22 tonight, but 10 for 11 from the free throw line. Like, that can happen. Um, DeAndre Hunter, seven for seven. Like, we were just giving teams points. You know, and I get it. Sometimes, like, you might have to foul or it might, you know, the ref just may call whatever. But um, we got to take it upon ourselves to uh, do a better job of not fouling. Um, 
And I, I think, you know, we wouldn't be bleeding so many points if we're not getting to the line. So one on one a lot with Trey Young, and then you have to go out on the other end and, and produce on the offensive end like you did. How do you kind of approach a game like tonight? I know you do it all the time, but can you take us through it? Um, I mean, saying is like if you if you if you if you're ready, you don't have to get ready. I mean, I would say. I mean, it's I've been doing this for a long time. Well, I feel like, <laughs> uh, but you know, just uh, finding like you know for me. I, you know, I, I play hard on defense, you know, regardless of who I'm guarding uh, or whatever the matchups is. Um, but it's just, for me, I just find them, them little quick little moments where I can catch a breather or I can relax a little bit and not, you know, move as much, you know, waste energy and then go on the offensive end and just, you know, try to use that energy that I just saved uh, and, and try to score the ball. Um, but sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes I'm, I'm working hard on both ends of the floor, and it's just, you know, shots are just falling. You know, it just feels good when it, you know, when you see it go through like that. We asked Coos and West the same thing, but why do you feel like you guys are having a little problem getting to the line lately? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, Ref don't see them. I mean, I, I feel like they see all the fouls that happens. Um, I feel like they're just not calling them enough. You know, we we are getting fouled, you know, and, and they they are blankly like you can see the fouls, you know, and I don't know why we're not getting them. Um, and it's sometimes it's, it's it's frustrating, you know, and that's what we uh, you know. I feel like we we got to do better and you know try to sell them, selling it or you know yelling or whatever we got to do to try to get them calls. You know, there's no way we started nine free throws to nine. You know, <laughs> so that, that that don't make any sense to me. You've been um, one of the most consistent players on the team all year. And, and you know, obviously there have been ups and downs and a lot of changes to the rotation. What do you attribute that to? Sorry, again, what was the question? The last one. I guess just the, the way you've been able to kind of be the consistently the same player uh, all year, despite a lot of changes happening around you in the rotation. Um, I mean, just... You no, know, we we practice every day. You know, lineups and practice change. You know, and it's just all about just knowing who you're playing with. You know, I I feel like I have a feel for most of the my teammates that I'm on the floor with at the time. Um, and even when God subs in, you know, it, it's just you know, simple basketball to me. You know, if I ain't got a shot, make the make the pass. You know, just keep keep the ball moving. I feel like once we we playing like that together, you know. Everything is connected, you know. It don't matter who's on the floor, you know. It don't if we don't have a relationship on the floor, not if the ball is moving, you know. It's energy in that basketball, and you know, it's, it connects everyone together. You know, Kyle probably better than anybody on the on the team. Uh, what do you make of his uh, emergence or progression this season? I mean, he's progressed a lot. I mean, I see. Um, but I've been knowing Kuz, like you said, for since he got drafted in the league. Um, and he's always had his, that, that game that you know, y'all are seeing now. You know, it's just, like I was saying, you know, it's, it's opportunities. You know, he have opportunity, you know, to be himself, you know, and and, and score the ball. You know, he's a scorer. You know, we, and, you know, he just got to slow down a little bit, you know, on certain things. Uh, but. You know, we we need that. You know, he's a scorer, and, and he can get he can get he can get buckets. Do you see any difference in the way? I'll use the word leadership, but do you, how much do you see him kind of taking some of the younger guys under his wing a little bit, like a Corey, like a? Um, I see it a lot. You know, he's that's one area he's getting better at. You know, um, I always say, you know, it's it's not how you to. <clears throat> Not what you say is you know, how you say it, you know, and he's learning that, you know, he's, you know, being encouraging, you know, not trying to knock his teammates down, you know, picking them up, even when their uh, teammates are having bad games. Um, just trying to stay in the, uh, keep everybody, you know, level-headed, you know, keep everybody up, you know, keep the energy going. Um, and he's been doing that practice and in games.
shooting 85% of the last time. God, really? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we, them corners, you know, he, we know he loved the corners. Uh, and we, we look for him when he's, we know he's on the floor. Uh, and, you know, he, he don't, he don't like to shoot many threes, you know, but he'd be open a lot and he'd be knocking them down. So when we try to tell him to shoot, you know, keep shooting, you know, he, he don't want to hear that, you know, but he's, he's been consistent, you know, with just taking his shots, you know, and, and playing his game. And that's all we ask for. As you said earlier, you've been doing this a long time. Uh, at this point in the season, two quarters of the way through, how are you doing physically in terms of considering all that's being asked of you on both ends? I feel great. I feel great. You know, you know this is my routine. You know, take, I take care of my body, you know, after games, you know, after practice, before practice. You know, as long as I you know, stay consistent with my treatment, you know, making sure my body is, is, is ready to go uh, when it's time. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going to be great. You know, I feel amazing. You know, I feel like it's postseason layers, I guess. I don't know. I just feel, I feel great, you know, and it's, it's, it's hard to explain, I would say. When it comes to wanting Rui to shoot more, is that a common thing that you've seen before where young players are shooting a good percentage and veterans got to say, hey, man, we need you to shoot more? Oh, um, yeah. It's just, I feel like they, uh, they don't think they're open, I would say, or they're thinking too much, you know, when they are open. Uh, you know, something that I, I tell Corey a lot, you know, even when he told me uh, one time, you know, my first three options should be shoot, shoot, shoot. So <laughs> I told him the same thing when you have a bad shoot now, like, what's your first three options? Shoot, shoot, shoot. So it's, you know, we, we always encourage each other, you know, to shoot the ball, you know, when we open, you know, we don't want to take, you know, contested shot, you know, that drops the percentage, uh, but we want to take our open shots when we open. Neil. Hey, KCP, I know, you know, you'd probably much rather have the win, but I think you were six for six from deep. I think that's, you know, the most makes that you've had without missing in your career. Was there anything in particular that you had going tonight? Uh, the bash was just as big as the C. You know, I was at no, nah. but um, just being consistent with just just shooting. You know, I, I shoot every day at practice. You know, sometimes after practice. You know, sometimes you know late late at night. You know, I'm getting in the gym shooting. You know, just repetition and you know, just continue to stay in that rhythm. You know, no matter what, I, how I'm getting that rhythm, just just keep trying to shoot the ball. Thanks, KCP. Right, last question to Christos. Thank you, CP. Hope you hope you're doing well. Uh, where do you feel you are defensive defensive wise at this stage of the season? Yeah, I feel like my defense is, is at a high level. You know, I, it's things I can improve. You know, as always, you know, it's always things you can improve on. But I feel like my my defense is at a high level. You know, I, my legs feel good. You know, my body, you know, is holding up. Um, I mean, I feel like it's it's at a high level. And with 19 games away from the until the end of the regular season, what how important is to make a bigger push right now? What do you need to do to make a bigger push as a team? Um, first of all, we got we got we got to finish games. Um, that's been our our biggest you know thing right now is finish, finishing out game. Uh, we got to be able to you know defend without filing. You know, it's, it's you know most of it is on us. You know. Um, and just continue to know knock down shots on the offensive end. You know, I feel like our our, our defense is where we we got to improve the most. You know, uh, you know, we give up a lot of offensive rebound, a lot of points in the paint. Um, so we all got to take pride in just you know defending our men and, and, and trying to get them stops.